For billions of years, the sun has been untouchable, a perfect engine of light and plasma, ruling the solar system with absolute power. Its solar wind, a storm of charged particles, has always flowed outward, shaping planets and carving the boundaries of our world. Nothing has ever bent it. Nothing dared, until now. Early readings from Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter revealed a distortion deep within the solar wind. The plasma streams were bending, not chaotically, but with rhythm and symmetry. At the center was 3I, ATLAS, a small icy visitor from interstellar space. At first it was dismissed as just another harmless comet, like Oumuamua or 2I, Borisov. But this one wasn't reflecting sunlight like a normal object. It was modulating it, pulsing in precise intervals, as if responding to an invisible signal. When James Webb Space Telescope focused on it, the data stunned scientists. The sunlight around 3I, ATLAS wasn't just reflecting, it was being controlled. The solar wind curved gracefully around the object. The sun itself seemed to respond, pulsing in perfect synchrony with it. The patterns were too precise to be natural. Webb detected light waves changing rhythmically, like a hidden code. The object absorbed sunlight and re-emitted it at different frequencies, like a machine converting energy with mathematical precision. Each pulse repeated every few seconds, not random, but programmed. For the first time, we weren't just observing the cosmos. Something was observing back. Simultaneously, Parker and Solar Orbiter confirmed the solar wind bending symmetrically around the object, as if guided by an invisible magnetic field. No asteroid or comet had ever influenced plasma like this. To do so would require immense energy, the kind only a star or advanced technology could control. Scientists began to whisper the unthinkable. What if 3i, Atlas isn't natural? Its behavior mirrored theoretical designs of energy harvesting technology, like a miniature Dyson construct capable of feeding on stellar energy. The bending of solar wind hinted at a powerful electromagnetic shield. The rhythmic light pattern suggested deliberate energy conversion. This wasn't a rock drifting through space. It was a system, a machine, or something even stranger. Such control of stellar energy would place its creators far beyond human capability, a civilization at least type 2 on the Kardashev scale, able to command the power of stars. Perhaps 3i, ATLAS was a probe, feeding on sunlight as fuel, traveling between stars for millennia. Philosophers raised a chilling possibility. What if this object isn't just a tool but a form of intelligence itself, energy and matter merged? Maybe it has been observing young stars like ours long before humanity learned to look up. The sun, once unchallenged, bent to something smaller than a moon. Light was absorbed and released with intention. Plasma flowed around it like water around a hand. And in that silent exchange, the universe whispered back, you are not alone. Perhaps 3i, Atlas isn't here to threaten us, but to show us what comes next, a future where civilizations don't build machines, they become them, merging with the energy of stars. But there's a warning too. Power without understanding can unravel the delicate balance of our cosmic home. As the object drifts back into interstellar darkness, it leaves behind a question that hums through every observatory on Earth. What if intelligence out there has already mastered the language of light? Maybe the bending of the solar wind wasn't an act of domination, but a greeting. Away from something ancient, powerful, and watching. Subscribe and stay curious, because somewhere beyond the reach of our star, something...